Welcome back to Voyager. We were about to begin studying the device you recovered from Gaul's communication center. Since you have spearheaded much of our efforts here, I would like you to take the lead once again. Captain Kim and Seven of Nine are at your disposal. Talk with them if you need more help deciphering the device. When you finish your analysis, return to me for further orders. I will be here in the transporter room to see you off. Glad you're here. We transported the device to engineering here so we could run all the scans and tests we could think of. The first thing we need to do is determine how it's communicating. We can't find any normal transmissions from it, but we're hoping you have some new ideas to bring to the table. The device communicates with subspace. We should have guessed that. Now comes the hard part. We need to access the device's memory core. The engineering team here on Voyager is good, and I've heard your team is top notch, but it might take more time than we have for either team to make a full analysis. We should have both teams give you their opinions on the device. If we work together, hopefully we can make a breakthrough. You'll need to set switches on the device until we get solid readings. We'll be able to tell if switches are in the correct position, but not which switches. Good luck. Engineering teams tell me two of the switches are in the correct mode. Unfortunately, we don't know which two switches. Set them again and we'll redo our analysis. The engineers tell me there is only one switch in the correct orientation. Unfortunately, we can't determine which switch it is. Sir, I've consulted with both the engineers here on Voyager and your chief engineer. I am seeing green across the board. All the switches are in the correct position, and we now have access to the primary memory core of the device. Unfortunately, we're only halfway there. Now we need to access the secondary memory core to get full access to the data we need. The engineering teams are reading big zeros across the board. None of the switches are in the correct orientation. Let's. Looks like you did it again. All the switches are in the correct position, and we now have full access to the memory core of the device. Seven of Nine should be of assistance in accessing the memory banks of that device. 
She's in astrometrics, attempting to get a fix on the location of who or what is receiving these transmissions. We have access to the data banks of the device. Very efficient work. From the data we have received so far, we will be able to pinpoint the exact transmission coordinates. However, it is possible that doing so may alert whomever is on the other end that we have reverse engineered their technology. There are three likely ways to get at the information. I suggest further analysis to determine the best course of action. Fascinating. Excellent work. With this location, we may be able to finally reveal who gave the Vaudoir their advanced technology and why the neuroparasites appeared again in this time and place. Commander Jarak of the Romulan Republic has requested to join you on this operation. Her own analysis of the device has shown that the Romulans have had some contact with the creators of this device, a race known as the Ilachi. She will meet you in subspace at the given coordinates. Finally, Voyager's emergency medical hologram, the Doctor, will be assigned to your crew. His knowledge of the Delta Quadrant races may prove invaluable. He's not much of a combatant, but should prove useful. Hello again. Commander Jarak of the RRW Lisette. When we learned that the Alachi were involved, I requested to shadow you on this mission. I know your experience with the Alachi is limited. The Romulan Republic, however, has an extensive history with this race. All right, we'll follow your lead here. We're seeing three patrol groups. Recommend we eliminate them before we board the station.
ship is here to defend the outpost. I was thinking we should split up and cover as much of the facility as we can, unless you have a better idea. This is obviously an Alachi facility. What I know about them comes from the Romulan Republic's databases, but I should be able to learn more as we examine this location. The air here is suitable for the Alachi, which means that you may find breathing difficult. I, of course, do not have that problem. If you have an environmental suit, or even some sort of rebreather, you will be fine. If you don't, keep an eye out for something that could help filter out the toxins. Good. You found a breathing apparatus. That should take care of that nasty cough. These are Solanay tables. I've read the Enterprise D's reports about them. using the Iconian Gateway on New Romulus. The Solanate kidnap victims through subspace for their brutal experiments. If they are somehow connected to the Alachi and the Vodwar, this is beginning to make more sense. If I had to guess, there must be a stasis room nearby. We should find it and rescue anyone in there who can still be saved.
It looks as if they are converting their captives into more Alachi. If my readings are correct, there are several individuals here who have only just begun the conversion process. We can save them if we beam them back to your ship. Even the Borg won't assimilate the Kazon. You'll be back on duty before you know it. One to be up. We'll patch him up immediately. Transport this Talaxian directly to Sigbay. Everything will be fine, Mr. Ture. We'll beam you directly to Sigma. Ah, a Hazari. Stay calm. We'll get you the medical attention you need. We're transporting you to a Romulan ship in orbit. You're going to be fine. Well, the Solene are definitely involved. I believe I have everything I need from this area. We need to keep moving if we hope to meet up with Commander Jarak. The door is unlocked now. We should keep going.
whoever it was, they used our arrival as the distraction they needed to make their move. I'll keep looking for more information, but I hope the escapees are friendly. A prison break? Maybe I should go back to the ship. Parasites, just as I suspected. Did you know that several Starfleet officers were infected by these in the mid-2360s? The Enterprise logs from that era are fascinating reading, if you ever have a few dozen hours to spare. If Gaul and the infected Vaudoir were communicating with this station, it stands to reason that this may be the facility where the Bluegill implantation takes place. We should definitely investigate further. If we can find the implantation room, then I should be able to analyze their equipment and gather more information. I don't believe it. The empirical evidence is right in front of me, but I'm actually having difficulty processing this information. This tech, this whole facility, it's Iconian. There are variations on the norm, of course, because of the Solene and Alachi influence, but I see distinct signs of their presence throughout the facility. The Iconians, as we know them, rarely reveal themselves. The only known interaction with an Iconian in modern history took place on Kronos, when... Wait, you were there! I don't need to explain that situation again. As I was saying, the Iconians don't like to act directly. They use servitor races, like the Alachi and the Solene, to cause chaos in their name. And the neural parasites, they've bioengineered. Rather like the founders created the Jem'Hadar, but sophisticated enough to control another species, and with much less free will. The parasites are a weapon. When Voyager revived the Vaudoir, their technology was outdated compared to what other powers in the Delta Quadrant had at that time. Even the Kazan outdid them. But now, Vaudoir technology is cutting edge. The only way they could have advanced so far, so fast, was by allying themselves with someone else. With the Iconians. The Vaudoir got their tech upgrades from them, but they also got the neural parasites. The parasites gave the Vaudoir power but they gave the Iconians control. They were ultimately the ones pulling the strings. This entire war has been against an enemy we didn't even see.
These parasites aren't a natural species at all. They look engineered. Some of this technology is ancient, but it's quite advanced. This is more like a factory than a laboratory. Maybe we should avoid any potential contact with the prisoner? I think I've seen enough combat for today. Always showing up when you're least expected. More Alachi. I don't think the Iconians won't even leave. Their tenacity is almost... Happy. Looks like you could use a hand. And now we have their fleet.
Sheila! I should kill you where you stand. It would be justice for all the lives you've destroyed. And if you do, you'll never learn about the Iconians. I've been here for months. I've seen enough to know you need my help. Fine. You interrogate her. I might get a little carried away. But she returns with me to the Lisette when you're finished here. Sila is a prisoner of the Romulan Republic. Your government can go through official channels if they want to talk to her. You and this Sila person seem to have some history. I'll leave you to speak to her. Not so fast. You have the weapons, but I have the information. If you want to learn what I know, you'll need to keep those Romulan rebels under control. You've stumbled into something much greater than you're prepared to handle. I'm the best ally you have. I assume you already know where you are. Both the Alachi and the Solene serve the Iconians. The Alachi are their warriors, and the Solene are their scientists. They're the ones who created those creatures implanted into the Vaudoir. Hakiv joined the Iconians out of faith. He thought the Iconians would create an empire he could rule. That did not go as planned. This time, the Iconians wanted to control their puppets. When the Vaudoir asked for strength to defeat their enemies, the Iconians gave them the parasites. The Vaudoir had strength, but also strings. Strings that have now been cut. I'm sure you had something to do with that. All three of you working together? The world has changed in my absence. Are with the Vaudoir that much of a threat to the Alpha Quadrant? That explains some things. I'd love an escort back to the world at large, but I have a feeling you have some questions first. Will I be taken into your custody, or will I be left to Tiaru's tender mercies? Very well. It's not like I have a choice in the matter, do I? Sila in our brig. When she was taken by the Iconians last year, many of my people thought she would get away with her heinous crimes against the galaxy. With her in my brig, I am happy to know that is no longer a possibility. Of course, I understand that the Romulan Republic's claim on her is not unique. Her crimes are against all of the Alpha Quadrant. To that end, I will ensure that she be made available to all the Alliance leaders for interrogation and debriefing. Well, that wasn't exactly what I'd call a walk in the park. At least we know exactly how the Iconians were controlling the Vaudoir. And you've certainly put a crimp in their plans. On the upside, as a photonic life form, I'm immune to any attempts at subversion by neural parasites. I'll see to the care of the captives we rescued. In the meantime, it sounds like you and the Romulan Republic Command have a lot to talk about. Sela certainly has a story to tell. But should we believe all of it? I'll put a bug in Admiral Janeway's ear about the situation. That was a joke, by the way. You're going to be busy. Don't overdo... No, who am I kidding? Command officers never take their doctor's advice. Just remember that you're not in this alone. Good luck. I suspect things are starting to get interesting.
Hello. Would you have time to look into something for me? We have a situation on Kabali Prime. You and I were both asked by name to help. All that I've been told is that the Vodwar have launched a large offensive and have retaken the area in front of their temple, the place where they keep unconscious Vodwar stored. They need our help to retake the area, though I have a feeling something else is going on. Can you help with the situation?
Sansar, but you know the Vaudoir. They're relentless.
Kabali forces are spread thin, and the Vodwar are making a push toward the temple. If I may, I have a suggestion for our plan of attack. Hanshin Jatanian and his team will attack the outer area of the trenches, making their way to the temple. My away team will move to the opposite end of the trenches and support the remaining Kabali soldiers there. While they're holding the flanks, your team and I will push through the center and strike the Vodwar in the temple courtyard. Your thoughts? None. My team is eager to prove for themselves. You and your allies have set quite an example for us to live up to. We'll support the forces at the other end of the trenches and then make our way to the temple. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet up with you. Come. Take out that drop pod. Clear here. Scouts report that the temple is heavily defended. We still have some Vodwar attacking our flanks, but my soldiers insist they can keep them occupied long enough for us to retake the temple. Are you ready for the final push? There are other areas of the trenches in need of aid. My team and I could go help them while Captain Kim and his team stay with you. Or, if you think you can assault the temple alone, Captain Kim will rendezvous with his officers as well. However, I highly recommend you bring all of us in to your attack on the temple. Are you sure you want all of us to attack the temple?
temple is secure, and the doors are still locked, which means the Vodwar didn't break in either. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. I've seen this sort of algorithm before. I'll have the door open in no time. After that, we can figure out what happened to the temple's security system. It shouldn't have done this. I don't deny that we'll need support. My team is one of the few still intact. Captain Kim's away team should meet up with us soon, but we don't know what kind of numbers we'll be up against. However, the temple itself should be free of Vodwar. If I may suggest, perhaps only you and Captain Kim should enter, and your officers can stay here and help us hold the area. At least all the Vaudoir here are in stasis pods. Let's take a look around. I want to know why the Kabali lost control of their security systems. That's... that's not right. According to these readings, the occupant of this pod was... me? But the name on it is... Ket... Must be a computer glitch. Could be a symptom of a bigger problem, but whoever was in this pod is gone now. Looks like it was open before the problem started. Hold on. I'll access the temple security footage. Maybe that can show us something. That's... That's me, but from over 30 years ago. What in the world? Stay back! Are you with the Vidians? What do you want from me? Ketan, you have to calm down. My name is Jet Laya. I'm here to help you. That's not my name! Where am I? Where is Voyager? I need to contact my ship. Wait! Come back! Jet Laya? And me? Hold on. There's more security footage. This is the last thing that was recorded. Voyager, this is Ensign Harry Kim. If you get this message, I'm in an unknown alien prison. I've escaped my captors, and I'm looking for a way out. I'll send another message with my coordinates as soon as I can. Come, come find me. <laughs> That... that was me. From over 30 years ago, in my old Voyager uniform. And they're turning me, him, into a Kabali. They knew. This whole time I've been here, they knew. And Lindsay, Jitlaya, she knew. I know I've had a difficult time accepting the Kabali, but they keep too many secrets. They should have told me told us about this. A lot of strange things happened on Voyager's trip through the Delta Quadrant. During our second year here, the ship and everyone on it were duplicated. It was a freak accident, an encounter with a subspace divergence field we still can't completely explain. But two Voyagers, sharing the same point in space-time, it was a recipe for disaster. We tried to cooperate, to find some way to save both ships, but I'm, I'm from the duplicate ship. Captain Janeway sacrificed it so one Voyager could survive. The other Harry was killed in a hull breach before that happened. Captain Janeway sent me and Ensign Wildman's baby to his Voyager before she self-destructed our ship. It made sense at the time. I'm Harry Kim, I have all my memories, my knowledge, same as him. We were exactly alike in every way. Except one of us got to keep living, and the other one didn't. It's changed, all right. Best I can guess is that a Kabali ship must have found his body floating in space. It's a million to one shot, but Lindsay might have remembered our coordinates when we were duplicated and known where to start looking. They must have spent decades reconstructing him and putting him through their rebirth process. I don't know whether to be impressed or horrified. I think I'll go with both. I'll be okay. 
A little shaken up, but... Captain Janeway once told me, we're Starfleet officers. Weird is what we do. And this certainly applies. From what we saw on the security footage, it looks like the other me has taken control of the entire base. That's not too surprising. Not only does he have all the knowledge of a Starfleet officer, the rebirth process transformed his brain. The Kabali's six-lobed brains give them natural abilities in mathematics, physics, wave phenomena, everything he'd need to know to do this. He's still wearing his comm badge, though. I can tap into it. You should... Not yet. He's already scared and confused. Seeing me before he gets his bearings, it will just make things worse. Starfleet! Wait, I, I don't recognize you. You're not from Voyager. And your uniform? This is a trick. I don't know who you really are, but stay away from me. I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to get back to my ship. You can tell whoever you're working for that Captain Janeway's coming back for me. She won't leave anyone behind. He's severed the comm link, but I've got a lock on his coordinates. He's deep in the base, down in the old Vaudoir tunnels that even the Kabali don't enter very often. And he's locked down all the main corridors that lead to his location. There's a way, though. There's emergency climbing equipment here. The Kabali put it in a few months ago in case they lost power during the Vaudoir attacks. We could use it to cross the chasm and get closer to where he is. I'll be right behind you. But it's time to see if I can talk some sense into the other me. He wants to contact Voyager, but if he does, he'll reveal their position. Unless we stop him, Harry either ruins Voyager's mission and possibly gets them killed or captured, or he finds a ship, sets a course for their coordinates, and gets blasted by the Vaudoir. Good idea. Kim to Rhode Island. We need an emergency transport to... Kim to Rhode Island. Can you hear me? Kim to Jatanian. Kim to... He's locked out external comms. Probably wants to stop anyone left in here from calling for help. I'm afraid the zip lines are the only option. Unless you can fly. Trust us. What is this? Another me? You expect me to trust a shapeshifter? Circuits are completely fried. Let's find another door. He's trying to override it again. Give me a second. Let's keep going. Thank you. 
modified the empty stasis pods to send out bursts of electricity. Tricky. I might be able to slow it down from here, but we can't stop what he's done without access to the main console, which is on the other side of the I'll stay here and do what I can to delay the bursts, but you'll have to get past it. Bali brought you back, but to do so, they had to change your DNA, make you Kabali. Liar! You can't just change someone like that. It's not possible! I didn't think it was possible either. Any Vidians here? You have to let us help you. You steal my life, and now you want to help me? Why should I believe that? Because it's the truth. We should keep moving. Harry! Jedlaya, are you okay? How did... General Cunell said there wouldn't be any more secrets. I'm... I'm okay. Harry? I didn't know they'd send you. How long did you know? Harry, I don't think this is the time. How long did you know? I didn't know when I was on Voyager, if that's what you're asking. We need to stop Ketten. 
He locked the rest of my team away. They're safe, but trapped. We're the only ones who can help him! It's good to finally meet you. My people are in your debt. We need to move fast. Ketten's not in his right mind. The rebirth process can be difficult under the best conditions, and... I don't know. Maybe humans resist the process more than other species. It took me a long time to accept who... what I was. Yes. He doesn't know what happened. I tried to tell him, but... He still thinks it's 32 years ago, Voyager is lost in the Delta Quadrant, and we're in league with the Vidians. He's desperate to get home. When Ketten started tampering with the security devices, he tripped an alert that was sent to the Vaudoir. They think their soldiers are waking up, which is why they're so desperate to get inside. He's putting us all at risk. We need to help him. Action item 238. To resurrect your best friend and give him a second chance for a long life. It's not working out so well, is it? I'm not familiar with everything in this area. We rarely go down this deep. There are still Vaudoir traps here that make exploration dangerous. However, as far as we understand, this facility was intended as a final shelter for the Vaudoir. It would make sense that they would have had a way to contact the outside world. But if Ketten finds a communication device and uses it to contact Voyager, the Vaudoir will hear his message, too. Ketten is a danger to himself and to Voyager. If he succeeds in this gambit and contacts Voyager, he'll draw every Vaudoir in the sector to their coordinates. I can't allow that. We have to stop him. He's putting Tuvok and his crew in danger. like this used to be a server room of sorts, but it's not like one I've seen before. All this is computer storage, and it's massive. 900 year old Vaudoir technology. It's a lot different from anything we have back home, and he's using this to completely block us out. Terrific. There doesn't seem to be a way around this. I'm sure Jedlaya and I can figure out something given enough time. But if I was on the other side of this, and I am, I'd be trying to stop anyone from moving these. There has to be some sort of reset command. But with our luck, it's on the far side of the maze. Jedlaya and I will keep Ketten from blocking you in. But you'll need to get through this and reset the servers so they return to their start position. Think I can make you a door? Wait here. You're good to go. I'll monitor the area from here. I'm sorry this is how we had to meet again, Harry. That makes two of us. You should have told me. And if we had, what would you have done? I don't know. But I had the right to know you had a copy of me in cold storage. Are you saying he doesn't have the right to rebirth? I... I don't know. This is all a lot to take in at once. Well, I know it is. Imagine how Ketten feels. I have a good idea. Confused, angry, isolated. Ketten died trying to save Voyager. 
and it happened so quickly, he doesn't even realize what happened. He understood the risks, and he accepted them. Did he really? Think about the man you were then. Joining Starfleet comes with certain duties. I understood that then, and I do now. I seem to remember a kid who was as scared as I was. All we wanted was to get home. Yeah, I was scared back then. I missed my family, but I did what I had to do to get back to them. You got back home, Harry. You did. Finally, what you had I to found do. someone. Kenton I got didn't separated get that from chance. everyone when all the craziness started, and I was trying to find my way to a com panel to call and for I'm help. I'm sorry when this for him. Maze just rose but is up this around better? me. <sighs> now I have no idea what to do. Thank you. And I know this is he a has a new way to life. meet a potential Kenton captain. Can be anything but do or you go anywhere he wants on now. Board your ship? General Cunell is planning an officer exchange program, As a Kabali, and I'm one of not, the first recruits. He's not who we he was anymore. We will learn from the Alliance, as well as thank you for all you've done for our world. I'd be honored if you allow me to join your crew. And as soon is as I find that a out worse here, option than being dead? No, of course not. But I should have been able to choose. Why? He's your duplicate, Harry, but he's not you! I know what he would want! Do ya? Because you can't even convince Ketton to drop this maze and talk to you. When you put it that way, maybe we are different. He's being so stubborn. He's you, but he's Ketten too. And he's allowed to be both. You could handle all my tricks, old man. We're working on it, kid. Take all the time you need. King. But if I do this, maybe I can buy some time. We have him. Ket, cornered. Without those platforms, though, we have no way to reach him. 
It's insane. He's manipulating these old defense systems like he's in a Captain Proton hollow. We have command codes that allow us to interface with the older Vodwar technology. We've never seen the need to replace systems that still work. But it looks like Ketten has made some modifications. I'll need to override his changes. The best I can do right now is to expose the central power cores behind each platform. Yes, it does. Ketten will be monitoring for any changes in the platform's functionality. But I can modify the central power cores to react to energy weapons. If you shoot the cores, you'll be able to power up the platforms and force them open. But you'll only have a short window before he resets it. If we want to do this, Jetlaya and I will stay here to keep trying to seize control of the network back from Ketten. And there's still that matter of the field protecting it. When the Kabali first found this room, the old Vodwar EPS systems were too degraded to handle all the power. They installed regulators throughout the area as a stopgap measure until they could replace the conduits. Basically, it meant that even if one conduit failed, the network would stay active. Those regulators are still in place, and we can use them to get to Ketten.
Jedliah has command codes we can use to overload the regulators. The chain overload will generate a wave of power that will build until it overloads the generators Ketan is using to maintain the field protecting him. Get these codes into four of the consoles and it will short out the field. Once he's distracted, Jitlaya and I can reset the platforms to their normal state. One last thing. Jitlaya and I can run this program three different ways. The one that would buy you the most time before the platforms are reduced also takes the most of our attention. There's also a balanced option, or, if you don't like either of those, I can spend most of my time trying to counter Ketan's plans. What do you want us to do? Whatever we choose will determine how difficult it will be for you going forward. Are you certain you want us to focus our efforts on keeping the platforms operational? This will give you about eight seconds after you activate the platforms before Ketan deactivates them. Give us a few more seconds. The cores are exposed. It's your move now. data on the new flagship. I'll keep an eye on it. Stand down before this gets any worse. Do anything you're going to regret. I'm going home, whatever it takes. You can't go to Voyager. You're too late. I'm getting back to Voyager, no matter what.
This is bad. Ketan used Jitlaya's command codes to access the Kabali flagship in orbit and transport himself to the bridge. Not only that, but he has Voyager's coordinates. If he goes there, the Vodwar will see it as an act of war. We'll lose Ketan, the Kabali flagship, and probably Voyager too. Exactly. We have to stop that ship. I'm coming too. I helped find Ketan's body. I've watched over him during the rebirth process. It's my responsibility to help him now. Please, you must let me do this. I need to fix the mistakes I've made.
otherwise unharmed. Kenton's on the bridge alone. If I could talk to him, maybe I could convince him to come back home. There's no one who understands all he's going through like I do. Kenton's already been reborn. He is Kobali. If he doesn't come with us, he'll be alone. Whatever memories he has of his old life will continue to fracture and fade. Who's going to take him then? Would you? Does he belong back on Earth? A world he won't even remember? We're his family. We'll accept him no matter what. And that will be his decision to make. My father found me when I was lost and confused and trying to fit into a life on Voyager that wasn't mine anymore. He helped me understand what it is to be Kabali. I'm... I'm going to try to do that for Ketan. He thinks we're monsters, but we're not. We love him so much. We wanted him to be a part of our lives. I'm going to. I have to see Ketan face to face. It's time to talk this out. Maybe you should talk to him first. Try to calm him down. He's not in the mood to listen to Harry or me. Why are you trying so hard to keep me from getting home? I need to... I don't even understand what's going on anymore. Why... Why do I look like this? Like them? I saw the star date. What... What happened? How do I get back to Voyager? To my time? How do I get back to my life? I... I died? I... I can't remember. Why can't I remember? You're taking my memories from me. I won't! I won't forget! I can't forget Voyager. I cannot forget my friends. Ketan, you have to stop this. If you contact Voyager, you'll... I'm done listening to you. I, I just want to go home. I want my life back. The life you stole from me! I understand. I wanted to be Ensign Lindsay Ballard. I loved my life, my friends, you. And then I died, and that life was gone. I tried to get it back, but I would have been living a lie. So I should just give up who I am? No, I'm saying that life ended, but now you have a chance to live a new one. I'm going to be with you every step of the way. Action item 478. Help my best friend own the day. Every day. Even with everything I've done. Forgiven. We don't hold grudges against family. I... I can't tell you what to do, Ken. But the Kabali will be there for you. And I'll do whatever I can. Would you tell me what happened? Voyager and how you got home. About mom and dad and Libby. I think I want to know. Of course I can. Thank you for your help. Ketan's going to have a new life with us. A long and happy one where he can be whoever he wants to be. My people have been outsiders for so long. The other species don't understand us or what we have to do to survive. We want to reach out to them, be a part of the Quadrant again. If Kedden decides he wants to leave Kabali Prime at some point, that's his choice. He can even rejoin Starfleet, but we will always be his family. I'm happy for Kedden. He gets a second chance at life. 
A different one than what he had planned, but that's the way life is. When I graduated from the Academy, I never thought I'd spent seven years lost in the Delta Quadrant. Didn't think it would take me as long as it did to get my own command. Didn't think Lindsay and I would never... That's all in the past now. And it's made me the man I am today. Just like Kenton will be the man he's supposed to be. I'm not letting the Kabali completely off the hook, though. Cunell told me there wouldn't be any more secrets, and then they kept this from me. If the Kabali want to be a part of the Delta Quadrant community, they need to be more forthcoming about who they're adding to their families. These men and women aren't getting a choice. Maybe rebirth is a gift, but it's a gift people should have the right to reject. Ketan has been sent back to Kabali Prime to finish the process of rebirth. In the meantime, the Kabali have agreed to make their list of currently held bodies public knowledge. Anyone who wishes for their dead not to be turned into Kabali will have the body returned to them. Thank you for all your help with this. This was very personal for me to deal with, and I'm glad I had someone like you at my side to help me through. Congratulations, Admiral. I'm currently on leave from Voyager, and I was passing near the Hobus system in a shuttlecraft when I picked up some odd energy readings. I took a detour to investigate. You, know, you can't be too careful where Hobus is concerned. But I wouldn't mind some help. Can you rendezvous with me at these coordinates? Having a real starship here would be a big help.